Hey, what's up everybody? Freddy C here, and welcome back to Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now, as most of you remember, we shut down every operation of the Santa Blanca drug cartel. Security, smuggling, production, and influence. And we now have a shot at El Sueño. The boss of bosses. But first, we have to find out about Ricky Sandoval's supposed confession. That for some reason El Sueño told us after we captured Nidia Flores. That for some reason everything we are doing in Bolivia is based on a lie, so to speak. <laughs> well... We're about to find out right now. And then once we're done with the confession, then we'll go after El Sueño himself. Now, just keep in mind, though, there's going to be two different endings in this gameplay, okay? Well, actually, no. After this gameplay, you're pr we're probably going to have the bad ending first. And then I'll do a replay of the final mission, and then maybe I'll show you the good ending after that. I think that's how it works. But either way... We're about to finish the main story of Ghost Recon Wildlands right now. But first, let's go to this mission right here. El Sueño's offering to give us Agent Sandoval's recorded confession. It's probably a trap, but we can't afford not to check it out. Hmm. Bowman doesn't sound too happy. Yeah, let's equip a suppressor. So, we're about to we're about to get a confession from uh, Ricky Sandoval. We got tangos, danger close. I'm seeing two narcos here. Over by the parking area. <laughs> I asked the rebels to do a recon of the area. Sending our intel on enemy positions. I need to get to target. a better position. Lost the Let me target. get a good sight. Target acquired. Target marked. Him. I'm see you. Hold up. Sueño said the audio recorder is here. Exercise some extreme caution, people. We have no idea what we're walking into. Hmm. I don't see anybody around. Alright, we're Go. good. Copy that. Hmm, what's this? This must be the recorded confession. Let's find out about it, shall we? Ooh. You're going to die, Ricky. Even if Yuri and Bolito stop. If they stop giving you pain right at this moment, you'd still die. Yeah. But I figured as much. We already know the truth, but I want to know why. Tell me, Ricky. Then I promise I will make the pain go away. All right, Efe. It's a little too late for my confession to do you any good, so... I chalk this up to professional courtesy. <laughs> it was me. I blew up the embassy in La Paz. You blew up the U.S. Embassy in La Paz? Yeah. And it wasn't some DEA or CI false flag bullshit. The rebels helped with the op, but it was me. Why bomb your own embassy? I had no choice. My bosses were going to pull me out of Bolivia. No one gave a shit about what you were doing down here. No one wanted to commit... <laughs> Commit any resources to, to stopping you assholes. I I needed them to pay attention, and for that I needed the theater. And people don't pay attention at the theater unless somebody dies. What?
So, hold on a minute. Remember what I said in one of my uh, videos that I was going to show you um, this briefing right here? Well, let me show you real quick and uh, we can make sense of the matter. This was supposed to happen in the beginning of the gameplay. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of bosses, El Sueño. Yeah, so unfortunately that is what I was supposed to show you in my very first gameplay of Ghost Recon Wildlands. I'm sorry it took so long to show you guys that, but... Now, apparently the confession mention of the bombing in the embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Santa Blanca was supposed to be the t uh, the ones responsible for it, but but Ricky? He did it because they were going to pull him out of Bolivia and he was so close to shutting these guys down? It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. We'll see what the team has to say. See if they ever get a chance to say anything about it. Rally up, people. Roger, moving. Check this spot out for intel. We've got enemy activity nearby. Eyes on two Sicarios over by that stack of tires. Fucking hell. How is this shit possible? What do you want to do, boss? Send it to Bowman. Then ask her for some goddamn truth. I would. Bowman, you there? Yes. What the fuck is going on? Nomad. I don't know what to say. You could start with the goddamn truth. Did you know Ricky bombed the embassy? Did you help? Of course not. I had no fucking idea. Ricky, he... messed up. Messed up? Messed up? Bowman, the entire reason we are here, the whole goddamn operation, all of this, is a big fucking lie. You think I don't know that? He was my fucking friend. He burned me harder than anyone on this. So what are you gonna do about it? Sueño is still a plague. This doesn't change that. He deserves to go to prison for the rest of his life. Prison? He deserves to get lit the fuck up and dragged through the streets by dogs. Fuck prison. I don't know. You don't know? 
W what do you mean, you don't know? I mean, I don't know. I... I need time. I need to think. Bowman out. Well, that's sketchy. I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for us. Buenas, amigo. Here's your copter. Bowman had no idea. Wow. All right. Let's go after El Sueño and see if we could try to get one of the two endings in this game. We've received word from Pakatari that one of his rebels might have discovered El Sueño's location. Talk to the rebel and find out what he knows. Well, then that's where we're going. All right, so now we know the truth about the embassy bombing. Now we know that everything was based on a lie. But still, it just doesn't make any sense. Blowing up your own embassy just to stay in Bolivia and keep tabs on the Santa Blanca cartel only to be captured, tortured, and, and killed in the process. Yeah. I know I keep changing the times and everything, but uh, <coughs> I just wanted to do this in like broad daylight. Well, like I said, in this gameplay, we're probably going to get one of two endings in this game. And I, and I believe we're going to have the bad ending first. And there's another ending if you repeat the final mission against El Sueño. But we're going to start with this one for now. Anyway... We gotta find the rendezvous point. Or get to it. Hang on, I'll drive. Then we gotta find El Sueño. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go hit that rock. Confession still puzzles me. Ah, well, let's not think about it too much. Let's just reach the rendezvous point and there we go. This is the RV. Something isn't right. Come on, move. What the hell? Shit, I got a body here. It's that rebel leader Amaru. We freed that guy from the cartel. I'm trying to call Pack, but it isn't going through. Think Pack and his rebels threw down with the cartel? And Pack had to run? It doesn't look like there was much of a fight here. I'm calling Bowman. Maybe she's heard from Pack. Bowman, you got a situation. You set up a meet with Pack and one of his guys. With Pack? Where are you? Listen. Instead of Pack, we found Amaru. He's been killed. Have you heard from Pakatari? Pakatari is here with me in Pukara. What the? Bowman. Bowman. The hell is going on here? No idea. But we gotta get to Bowman. Fast. Never thought I'd hear myself say this about a CIA officer, but if they hurt her, I'll burn this whole fucking country down to get back at them. Right there with you, man. Bowman said Pack was with her. Then the call got cut off. Might be the sat phone dropped the call. Might be Pack fucked us. Weaver, can you track Bowman's last known in Bukhara? Got it. Down there. 
Bukhara Moko village in Bukhara province. That's not far from a road we can take. Just take this rebel vehicle right here and get to Bowman fast. sure the truck didn't take any damage. Or just take a shortcut. Sometimes you just gotta improvise. Us. We were sent here as a diversion. Diversion from what? Sueño. The rebels found out where he is. Get to the mausoleum. I'll meet you there. Nomad? You understand what this means, right? From here on out, Pakatari and the rebels are no longer our allies. Ah, uh, so when Karen Bowman says that... The Rebels know where El Sueño is. Yeah, we're definitely going to get the bad ending first. Ten minutes. Contact! Rebel hostiles! Now the Rebels have turned on us. Engaging. After everything we've done for you. Wow. We got 10 minutes to get to El Sueño. He's at the mausoleum. Hola, camarada. Pack, the hell are you trying to do? Same thing as you, amigo. Doing what's right for my country. El Sueño will die on Bolivia's soil. My people must know. The government must know. The other cartels must know. The rebels are not slaves for the Americans. We are strong on our own. That's why you killed Amaru. Because he wasn't strong enough. Amaru was a man of ideals. Brilliant ideals. But ideals do not feed people. Ideals do not build armies. Ideals do not take down corrupt governments. Neither does getting your people killed. My people know that if they die today, they will return tomorrow as thousands and thousands. That's not going to make it any less painful. If there is one thing I've learned to embrace in this life, it's pain. A lesson I will soon teach to El Sueño. Now, unless you want to end up the same way, I suggest you leave Bolivia. Thank you for your help. Adios, camarada. I got a better idea. Gotta take cover here. Copter, get down. B 
Bingo. We got a helicopter. Chopper, hit the dirt. You can fly there. That should make things easier. Fly low. These mausoleums look cute in comparison to the others. SB builds them for their Pachonis. I've got a healthy enough ego to say I want something like this when I die. What are you, a seal? Because I don't know any quiet professionals who need something like this. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, were you expecting us? Assholes over here. Stay quiet. Sniper! Damn, they're everywhere. I don't have time to screw around. Take cover. You're finished, El Sueño. Show us your fucking hands. Now. I would. But unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad jefe. Put it down. As you wish. Oh my god. Adios, Senor Katari. He killed Pat Katari? You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir. Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not. What the? Please, I am asking you that you. Sir. Yes, I understand. What's going on? Fuck! 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 Bowman? Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman! He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck. who? Who do you think the DOJ? Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying- He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you, if you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman, it seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. What the? Bowman, no! Holy crap.
The dream is dead. If you're watching this, that means I have executed El Sueño. I'm certain that people will think I went crazy. That I did it out of emotion, that I broke. Fuck them. They're wrong. I knew exactly what I was doing. This piece of shit, this monster, tortured my friend, killed him. Decapitated my partner, massacred thousands. And he gets to walk? Uh, sorry, but not on my fucking watch. Given what El Sueño knew about Ricky Sandoval, he would have been unstoppable. Trivia question. What happens when you give immunity to a drug lord? Ding, ding, ding. You get a dictator. Taking out a drug lord is one thing, but stopping a dictator? You need a few more than four operators for that. My career, my freedom, my life is not worth more than the people of South America. Obviously, not everyone agrees. Which is why I'm most likely now in a federal correctional institute, getting three hots in a cot for the next 45 to life for murder. By now, CIA has probably released an official statement saying the case officer in question is no longer employed by this agency and acted in direct opposition to her superiors. Her actions have caused great harm to the continued efforts of the intelligence community here and abroad. And guess what? They're right. I would have done the same thing as them. No hard feelings here. I just hope they don't leave Bolivia. Without Pakatari, the rebellion will tear itself apart with infighting. Unidad will make a deal with the next criminal organization that comes along. And the remains of Santa Blanca will split off and form new mini-cartels. All with shitty names like Nueva Frontera Cartel, Berrio Familia, and Los Hijos del Sueño. Everyone will continue killing each other for that coca. I wonder, if God knew all the destruction that this little leaf would bring, would she have still created it? Or maybe that's exactly why she did. I don't even know anymore. But it's no longer my question to answer. So I leave you with this. In the dying words of Augustus, founder and first emperor of the Roman Empire, have I played the part well? Then applaud as I exit. Bowman out. Huh. <coughs> so what you just saw right now is the bad ending to Ghost Recon Wildlands. But hold on. As we skip the credits... We're going to see something pretty interesting. Hang on. I asked the rebels to recon the area for us. Congratulations, you've completed all the story missions and unlocked an alternative ending. Access Sueño's missions through the cartel overview and replay the El Sueño mission. Ah, yeah. So yeah, let's just continue with fighting the Santa Blanca cartel right now. Hang on. And then we can make a daring escape. So there you have it, guys. What you saw was... The bad ending. Let's fly away. Alright, so now we're going to go back to Montauk Province. We'll fast travel to Montauk Charlie. Yeah. So like I said, what you saw was the bad ending to Ghost Recon Wildlands. And I would squeeze the alternate ending into this gameplay, but I'd rather do that in a different gameplay. So right now, I'm just going to end this gameplay right here with just the bad ending. And then I'll redo the El Sueño mission with the different ending. Meaning that when you get to Bowman, after Pac basically betrays her, you know, Pac Atari, uh, she'll say something different when we find her.
And then when we fight our way to the mausoleum, or, well, maybe to the, that cartel dam that we went to to get that helicopter to fly to the mausoleum. Yeah. We'll, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. Because we'll we'll eventually see the good ending in the next gameplay. So for now, guys, I want to thank you all for watching this gameplay. If you liked it, definitely drop some likes. If you want to say something in the comment section, like give me your thoughts and opinions on the action and everything. I know the action was a little short, but I'm very, very certain you'll see more action in the next gameplay. You know, hopefully with... Uh, more explosions, more battles, more everything, more chasing, etc., etc. As long as we get to the target on time before the timer runs out, and hopefully if we don't get killed in the process, then yeah. But other than that, um, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel, and feel free to switch on your notifications if you want to be notified about my latest uploads. And make sure it's on all so you don't miss anything. Sorry, still dealing with a cough. <clears throat> so, that'll just about do it, guys. So, thank you for watching this. I will see you in my next gameplay. And until then, this is Freddy C, signing off for now. But I will be back. <laughs>